We move into a local Largo, Florida campground April 1st. It looks like we're going to be off the road for about a year. Wolf has some dental issues that have to be addressed, and he has at least one and possibly two back surgeries that are going to be needed. So we have about four to five weeks to get this place livable. He's not going to want to be doing this while he recuperates. Here is my pigsty of a home. Of course, we're inside the kids' house right now while we work on it. There's the new floor that's going in. It's vinyl. It's, it still looks like wood. It's got a nice pattern, but it shouldn't be as affected by um, humidity as wood would. The bottom flooring of the slide is gone, so everything's down to floor level. This is a free floating floor. It's not glued down. Each piece out of the box has a clip. You take the matching end of the clip, put it together, take a shim, tap it together with a, a rubber mallet so it goes in, and take your rubber hammer and smack it down so you, and you'll hear that clip go into place. And the floor will pretty well stay where it is. Completely redoing the kitchen cabinet the way they sit. Took the rollers for the slide that will no longer go out. Look at that. That's grass down there. No wonder we had a cold draft coming in. There were four of these rollers. And every bug in the world that wanted in could get in. Wood cut to shape, beveled, and glued into the holes. No more bug access. Getting the carpet pulled off here so I can install the floor, the new flooring. Cut and pull, cut and pull. Every two inches. They have these stupid staples. Believe me, this is more fun than anybody needs to have. Okay, the carpet's up along here. I also pulled it up along the side. This is all that, that composite wood. It's in pretty good shape. What you're seeing, the dark color, is that sticky goo they put down for the, for the carpeting. And under here, it's all the way through. This is filthy. After five years of living in here, mostly in the desert, it is just unsavable. I want to get all of this out under the seats. I'll have to wait until we're at the campground for that and have him pull the seats out. What I'm going to do for the doghouse, I don't know. It's just, it's got to be just as dirty under there. So I'll, I'll address that when I, when I get to it. There must be a way. I ought to be able to find some carpet, even if I have to order that to fit, to put over there, and then put something, maybe continue the uh, gray vinyl down in the areas there. But every inch of this carpet, every inch I can get out, it has to go. Well, the easy part is done. Now for the hard part. Lots of tricky fitting into tight areas that I have a hard time squeezing into. When we get to the campground Monday, I'm going to have Wolf take the seats out, bring it up that corner, and replace that horrible old worn carpeting under the seats in the flat area there in the cockpit. What I'm going to do with the doghouse, I don't know. Maybe just re-carpet it. Any suggestions? Back here is the tricky fitting thing. Got to get in around the fridge, around the bed. I've already removed the trim work back here that I put in, and into the bathroom. Boy, this place is a mess. I can't wait till I can clean it up again. Creeping along back into the bedroom. This would be a lot easier to do if the spaces were not narrower than I am. It's hard to get down there. in the bathroom doing the uh, cleanup work here. I picked this piece of threshold up at Home Depot. I think it was eight or nine dollars. You know, it's just a piece of not very high quality oak. You can see it's already splitting on the bottom with a, with a bevel on it. I could have done that myself with scraps. Saved myself eight bucks. I've got it marked to cut to shove under the door the 
door. And if you have to cut anything out to redo your floor and get close cuts, these Japanese saws are the berries. They are really good. Alrighty, I've got this in. The screws are down here. I pre-drilled the holes because I didn't want anything breaking off and I didn't want to mess with this. And this is laid. It's all nice and, and even. Here, the pre-drilling went through this first piece. It was loose before. It wasn't quite fitted in. I didn't have the uh, side over here with the clip that fit in. So those screw holes are going to hold this piece from squirming and then once I get the rest of the trim on the rest of this won't squirm either it'll stay like it is. My trusty vacuum cleaner I am constantly using that to clean up any bit of sawdust when I work on projects. It just saves a lot of grief in the long run to have a clean work site. These guys I picked up at Home Depot they're door sweeps 36 inches long. They come in two colors. One is white, one is the dark brown, and they're really bendy. Bendy, bendy, bendy. I'm thinking that they're going to do well in those arches. They're rubberized on the front. They have sticky tape on the back. We're going to see how this works out. Alrighty then. I'm not going to be able to use the rubberized trim here because this is more than than half an inch gap to fill on the lip here I might just be forced to use caulking in here I don't know however I can use the rubberized trim for the rest of the bathroom area this is a pretty tough part of the job the worst part was the doghouse I am not sure what they glued that carpet on, but it was a real problem to get off. So, this part's done. I've got some trim in there. And we're going to sweep across, get the driver's side chair out, and get the floor over there done. Making progress. One last piece to put in here. This has been a bear to work around. Then we have to get the front pieces and he has to find me some aluminum trim. I want sturdy aluminum, not just the standard stair edging because we walk on this all the time. Dirty feet, muddy feet when we're on the road and it has to, has to take the wear. We found this. It was a piece of scrap at a local flooring store. Picked it up for 20 bucks, extra sturdy, extra wide, good traction from, for when I get sent back while we're driving to get a drink or snacks. I like this. The floor is done. And if I never see another miter box, I'm fine with that. This has been brought, the wood's been brought, or the flooring has been brought all the way up front. We took the seats out to do it. My next project is what I'm going to do with this doghouse. I'm probably going to uh, take it someplace to an upholsterer and have a carpet insert made for it. Got the aluminum there. Got under the cabinet done. He's still working on, it's about the third incarnation of those center drawers, but he'll get it done. In here is something really handy. It's a little cubby hole that the trash fits in. I love that. Back into the bathroom area. Kind of a mess all over the place where we've still got projects going and just I'll get clean later. down under the shoe drawers back into the side of the bedroom lights not good here 
and I am done with the floor.